All right, we're going to have fun today. So we're going to talk about being a house guest. What? Have you ever been a house guest or had house guests? Or have you ever just rented out your house like I have with Airbnb? And I've also rented out other people's houses uh, with Airbnb. And so you would think, mm, you would think that there would be respect and consideration and people would have boundaries but sometimes people need a little tips and so that's what I'm here for today is to give you a few little house guest tips so we're gonna have fun click that like button become a subscriber here at creative living with Amisha because we enjoy our lives over here in every area and we do live creatively so let's get started talking about these good house guests or those pesky house guests. I don't know. Let's just talk about it. All right. So the first thing we want to do to be a good house guest is we want to be invited. <laughs> yes, we do. We do not want to call anyone and say, hey, I'm in town. And can I come over? So be invited or let people know that you're going to be in town way ahead of time. To give them time to prepare and see if they want any company so that's the first thing is get a invitation to someone's house just don't drop on the doorstep do not make a last minute call or a last minute text be invited please be respectful the second thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that if you're the guest or having guests that you have specific dates. And to be a good house guest doesn't mean that because someone said, yes, you can come, that you have no end date <laughs> and that you can stay as long as you like, regardless of what they told you, okay? Unless you really, really know them. And if they mean what they say, then you can take that. But let's not wear out our welcomes. Let's have specific dates that we will be around as a house guest. The third thing that we want to do, oh wow, and had I learned this, and I am so nice. When I was renting out my home to Airbnb guests, they, and I understand that sometimes that the host, they charge extra for how many people that will be coming. But sometimes it's not just because you need the extra money for how many guests will be coming. You want to tell people how many people will be coming. Do not give any surprises to your host. <laughs> Once again, respect comes. I've had people say that they were only going to come with just themselves and their mom. And then they come with not even just one other person. They invite the whole family who may be even living in the state to come. Not just for a visit in the living room. They may want to be bringing two or three others or two kids or a pet they didn't specify. So let your host know who will be coming with you. No surprises, please. The next thing is please respect others' space. So limit what you bring, not only as far as how many guests will be coming with you, but limit the things that you're going to bring in the house, okay? You do not want to have five suitcases. You want whatever you bring to be able to fit in that guest room that they gave you. Be grateful. And let those things stay in that guest room. This is not your house. This is not a hotel. You're not renting it out. And you want to be very mindful with being neat and tight, tidy. And I should say that is the next thing. That you want to respect the place with what you're bringing. And you also want to be neat and tidy. And you want to make sure that you place things back the way you found them or better clean them up 
Let yourself be welcomed again by the host. You want them to welcome you again. And if you can, if you can, <laughs> and I don't say this lightly, leave a fresh scent as you leave. <laughs> Do not bring any odors in or leave behind a fragrance, especially in the bathroom. Bring a fresh scent with you and leave that behind. If you have to light candles and incense, ask permission first. Or little toiletry sprays to freshen up the bathroom, do that. There are so many things on the market now. Those little toilet sprays or something to, you know, for the odor. Go ahead and freshen up behind yourself. Do the best that you can. And the next thing is if you're bringing children or pets, mind your children and pets. I don't know what you do at home, but this is the time. And <laughs> put a little discipline down for your kids and your pets, okay? Make sure that they know what's appropriate to do and not to do. So this is the place where we have manners, all right? To be a good house guest, you want to have good manners. And don't forget to pick up after your children and pets, okay? <laughs> and if you take the dog out to poop, please, it's a pet peeve of mine, take the dog or pet away from the house to do what they must do, to do their duty, and pick it up. The next thing is to make it easy on, on your host. Offer to help wash the dishes or to help cook. Help them with their children, maybe the homework, whatever. It's just a simple way of saying thank you for allowing me to stay in your home for whatever time it is. If it's a short stay or a long stay. Make your hostess life easier. Your hostess or host is not a chauffeur or a tour guide or a babysitter. So have your own transportation. And if they do by chance allow you to use their vehicles, put gas in it, bring it back in a timely fashion, be respectful, wash the car, and otherwise, <laughs> maybe ask them to go somewhere with you. They can say yay or nay, but invite them without expecting them to take you around their city. Okay. Make sure that you know your host well. And even if you do, still be respectful of the rules of their house and go to bed at a decent time and keep the noise down. Be very respectful. Unless you have a hostess that just likes to party or is an extrovert and they want to have you down for wine and cocktails through the night, hey, that would be different. But otherwise, you take yourself to your room Quiet, keep the children quiet, let the pets go to sleep, and you go to sleep. Lights out. Be courteous and be considerate and respect their privacy. I wouldn't be up all times of the night or calling them or texting them and asking them all sorts of questions. And with that said, be very be very conservative on whatever that you use. If you are invited 
and they allow you to eat their food, be conservative. Really bring your own. Be conservative with the water, the hot water. Uh, if you if you have a whole family with you, you can't take 20 minute showers. You want to be courteous with the heat, with the electricity, with the coffee, all of that good stuff. Be a good guest. Also, please do not smoke in the house. Okay? Respect house rules. Also, find out what they are. And be very respectful if there is something in particular that they need to be expressed for you to be that good house guest. And before you leave, leave a gift. And if it's not a gift, leave a thank you note. All right? And say that you will return the favor and mean it return the favor thank you guys for stopping by the channel i hope you become a new subscriber and go ahead and like the video i'll be having some more cool information for you coming up here soon in the future you know i love you keep enjoying your lives